What up, world? What up? We are back. We are back. This is another episode of the Cloud Chronicles, man. You know what time it is. I'm your boy, Johnny Blaze. This is the People's Podcast, your favorite new podcast, man. I got a special, special guest. I must be doing something right in life because guess who I got sitting down with me today, man? I got the King Noose. You know what I'm saying? Salute to uh, salute to the God, man, for sitting down with me, man. I appreciate you, bro. Um, hold on one second, one second. Let me uh, let me get something for you real quick, man. Uh, I I want um, Noose is uh, you 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 and Mo is how I met you. I met you through Mo. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. So you've been you've My been wife. you uh, you how long you been fucking with Mo? You've been fucking with Mo for a minute, huh? Yeah, almost ten years. We've been rocking. Okay, yeah. I remember, I remember when he first started telling me, you know what I'm saying, I hearing about you and shit when you was like, first getting your shit kicked off, you know what I'm saying, and I've been watching yeah, your progression, man. You've been, journey, yeah, yeah, you've been going up yeah. though, man. You've been going up. Slowly, but slowly. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, man. I don't. I've been watching from afar, man. You know what I'm saying. I've been watching from afar, man. But uh, yeah, man. So definitely, uh, tell the people, man, for who aren't familiar with your music. Uh, and you're acting too because you do a little bit of that. I ain't trying to sell you short, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rapper slash actor, you know what I'm saying? King <laughs> in the building one more again. <laughs> you heard it, you heard it. Uh, yeah, man. So tell the people who you are, basically what you do, man. So, hey, people, my name is King Noose, man. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. I'm a, yes, artist, sir. a songwriter, a rapper, an entrepreneur actor anything i put my mind to to be honest but mainly i'm an entertainer man i'm an entertainer and i hustle this entertainment shit, bro that's what i've been doing right right um so, so how long you been doing music man all my life i'm 38 bro and i, I started when i was 12. so okay big part of my life you know what i'm saying no that's all your life for real man that's all your life so um, since a kid <laughs> yeah yeah, 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 man. So um, who was you looking at that got you into doing it like when you was a kid? You know what I'm saying? Like, like who my, was you... my, my everyday influences was my uncle. My uncle had a studio. So that's oh, why okay. I, that's what even got me into like, I want to actually like, I can go in there and hear my voice. You know what I'm saying? And the first time he took me in there and let me hear my voice, I was like, hey, yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Fell in love with I, that shit. Yeah. But I went to a, it was between like a, a summer, it was like a summer, bro, when I like, I went off, my mom sent me off to one of these little summer camps that they had for little hood kids. And, uh, <laughs> you, know <what> <laughs> you know, these little summer camps, oh, we don't get in trouble, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. I, was bad, I was a bad little kid, bro, but, it, but for yeah. real. Sitting in one of them little camps, bro, and it was like an art camp. They was doing music, and they were, this was crazy. And I'm gonna post these pictures. They was doing theater, improv, music, and that summer changed. That's what changed me that summer, bro. So between yeah. my uncle taking me and like seeing him doing it, and then that summer camp, bro, when they was all doing acting, they was doing everything. That's when I that's when I came out my shell, bro. So I, I shout out to that that summer camp they sent me to. I appreciate that shit because that shit yeah. they need more programs like that too. I, I agree, man. I agree because a lot of kids, man, got that talent, and they ain't, they they ain't got nobody either. There, so yeah, a lot of them, a lot of them are too scared too, man. Like me in high school, yeah. you know, like I that mindset, high. nigga. I was yeah. hooping. I'm hooping. Yeah. Me too. You, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? So you go, you you go. Hey, man, coach, I got to play. I got to do. Uh -huh. Nigga, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Expect yeah. what? Yeah. That's the basketball coach. You know, the football coach ain't trying to have it. But none of that shit. Yeah. Nah, so you know, yeah, but you right though, man. You right. Definitely need more programs like that, man. Get the kids involved yeah. in the arts. Let them know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's what uh, really influenced me though, man. That that summer though. That's what did it, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah. So you've been working on uh any um projects here right now, or have you just released anything that you know what I'm saying? That recently you want to talk about? Yeah, it's been a busy year, man. Uh so I got I got three I got two projects out right now y'all can go find on iTunes Apple Music Spotify all of that I dropped okay. an album last year uh, called Situations that's a straight R and B so I, I I went from the rap world to the to the me to the melody straight to the ladies you know what I'm saying on the singing yeah. shit so okay. I got an album out called Situations that's out right now and then I just dropped the album uh, what was this 
I say about three months. Oh, in October, I dropped the album called or EP, four songs called uh, Q Love, Quarantine Love. Uh, okay, that's what's quarantine up. shit. You yeah, know? yeah. So, and uh, right now I'm working on a soundtrack for a new movie. You know what I mean? That I'm about to be in. I'm about to be in a new movie called Unsplit. It's gonna be like a love drama film. And uh, I'm actually doing the soundtrack. I'm working on the soundtrack right now. And that's for next year, top of the uh, first quarter next year. Yeah, man. So uh, get into that. Get into that. You're touching on the acting, man. Talk about, uh, talk about, um, like, how did you go from the, uh, did you always want to act or did you get into the, to the music and then it kind of opened the lane? Yeah, kind of like that. To be honest, I mean, you know, growing up, uh, you see stuff, you see, you know, movies and stuff and like that. It'd be cool to do that, but. I never thought it'd be attainable not coming from Fort Worth. You know what I'm saying? So I grew up in Arlington. I feel you. Yeah, you already know DFW. We don't really see that, bro. We don't see that. You know what I'm saying? So um to be so the opportunity, actually somebody sent me a for the movie that I the, the role, my first role that I got in was which was uh last year, Miss Juneteenth, which is that, that right Yeah. Yeah, that movie's <laughs> doing very well right now. It's top 10 in the nation right now. Okay, yeah. everything get hospital soon too. Yeah. But, uh, I think to be honest, so I got so this so really the story with that is I actually just got an somebody sent me my aunt sent me an audition. She sent me like the little flyer to, like to come try out for the for the movie. She was actually a part of the movie. She sent me the uh you know the information. I go and try out, bro. I didn't I didn't think I was going to get it, but I was on some like, you know what what I got to lose, you feel me? You know what I'm was saying? Was that your first try out? My first ever doing anything like this, bro. Yeah. I'm like, shit, I rap, I get on stage and show out what, what's the difference when I go in here. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's kind of all in the same ballpark of acting. That's how I took it in my head. So when yeah, I got in yeah. there, I, I was a little nervous though, because it was real actors in there and shit. They had like headshots and all kind of shit. And I'm like, man. <laughs> it's intimidating I, when you just, you like, you uh, show I already like, get intimidated, bro. And I got yeah. intimidated that day. Yeah. But, uh, they gave me the shit, bro. I just think I was natural, bro, because they gave me, the, you know, they gave me the lines and I did that shit. They called me back twice. Got I got the role, bro. And I That's was in the scene with like two of the main characters too. So when I got on set, I had an assistant. They took me to my trailer, gave me my, you know, asked me what I need, taking care of me, bro, get me in wardrobe. I was like, I'm in a real movie, bro. Yeah, this is some real oh, shit. Man. Yeah, I called Mo. I called like, hey, you got <laughs> I'm like, yeah. niggas, like, niggas, yeah. like this shit. I'd have yeah. done the same thing. I'd have done the same thing, bro. So, yeah, bro, this is really a blessing. God opened that door. I just ran in it, nigga. I just <clears throat> ran in that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yeah, man? yeah. You got to be ready when they when them blessings drop, man. You better got to catch them hoes. got to catch them hoes. So since, since that, man, I, I, I done turned this into a career. I, t- I had one little speaking role. I done got shit, four, five other auditions lined up for next year. So, That's yeah, man, it's a blessing, bro. Man. And you know that what they say the movie checks is better than them rap checks. I I, I got one. So, <laughs> so you say you well, know you say, I, 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 we talking straight up. When I seen my check, bro, I was yeah. like, fuck this shit. That nigga you said, hold on. He was like, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, put this mic down. Yeah, Where that script yeah. at? Bring that script <laughs> over here, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> script, yeah. Yeah. Bring them pages. <laughs> Run them pages back. Yes, sir. No, nah, it's a job. It's a good. It's actually a good job. Once you win, if you once you win, you know what I'm saying. It pays good. You know, mm-hmm. rapping don't pay like that. Music just don't pay. Music is a long term thing, bro, right. and a passion. Mm-hmm. If you get into music, mm-hmm. like I'm gonna make some money real quick. It don't work like that, bro. You right, know what I'm saying? right, right. But that money, that money, that too, music, bro. And I also had two songs on the soundtrack. So shit streaming. Oh, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about them. What's what's uh, talk about them two songs? What's so up? What, I, so are, I, they, uh... actually my, my first RB song is what got into the movie, bro. So the first time I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try this little singing Drake shit out. That's the that's the song they chose for the soundtrack, bro. Yeah. So now I mean, I'm learning the yeah. streaming game with, with with movies and Netflix and Hulu. They pay streaming just like Spotify and shit do, bro. Yeah, you man. Mean? Just keep podcast game i'm just been a lot of the shit you talked about yeah. man i've been hearing like how you talking about that streaming shit that's the new that's the yeah. new shit now you know new what i'm shit, saying bro. yeah so, so I'm, just, I'm i'm getting adapted to that right now and learning that shit right that's right all changing, just changing the climate same mm-hmm. shit yeah man um uh so so you're um 
the other what was it you, did you talk was that both songs or was that just the first one on the soundtrack was, on the you soundtrack so they, they yeah they had took they had took songs from uh the situations album okay song was called want it all that's you can go get that on uh itunes and the other song was called uh tell them that was actually a rap song okay yeah i wanted i want them want them to know which ones was on the soundtrack too in case yeah. they just want, to go. want it all and tell them yeah okay that's what's up that's what's up so what you got going uh i mean i know without, without giving too much away what do you got going you know we're about to hit the new year um you know uh so what you got what you got on the horizon as they say for 2020 man, this movie i'm about to star in man i'm about to star in the, i'm about to star in my second film i'm about to have a star role in man i'm about to uh, it's called unsplit like i said it's a love story so mm -hmm. that's top that's really my main focus right now that's top of the year so I got the script for that. I actually helped write the script. I've been busy, bro. I'm trying to put my hands in everything. They're so I right. My shit. Merch line. I got my merch. I got some clothes on that, that I designed. This is Empire. Me, me and Mo started on the uh, clothing line and shit. You feel me? That's so, fresh. Working on that. Uh, just staying busy, bro. I, I My thing is like, well, even with what you doing, we just got to stay consistent all year, bro. Make, make mm -hmm. some kind of splashes and waves all year, every quarter. I break down every, every quarter. You know what I'm saying? Every quarter, what am I doing? Am I traveling? Am I meeting people? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Am I connecting? Right. So, as long as you got something to sell and got a product, just be making moves with that shit every quarter. That's my plan. You know what yeah, I'm that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, any any new music you dropping for New yeah, Year? With the soundtrack, I, I'm going to drop a single called for the movie, Unsplit. I made a single called you Unsplit. Go. You know, there and you that'll go. be dropping next month also with the video. So, okay. Yeah, we starting out the year with movies and, and, and music, man. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. That's that's big shit, man. That's big shit, man. Congratulations on that, that's man. Blessings, man. Appreciate that too. That's yeah, man. Better. That's big stuff. So I got some uh some some other little questions here. They're they're they're, they're related to that, but uh cool, cool. so um what would you be doing? I guess you kind of might have said something. If you weren't um rapping, or maybe yeah. should I say now if you weren't rapping or acting. What would you what you think you would be doing? I know exactly what I've been, bro. Cause I went to I went to college. I went to college to be a sports therapist. Okay. So I'm a hooper too. I'm, that's my that's really my passion. That's my first love, hooping. You know what I'm okay. saying? So yeah, I went to I went to Texas Southern to be a sports therapist, bro. To like be a trainer. I like I was a little bit too smart to make the team. So I said, fuck it, I just gotta be close to the yeah to, to the, the sports, bro. So yeah, I, yeah, I took I majored in kinesiology. Okay. Yeah, I went to Wesleyan for uh, radio TV broadcasting. So yeah, you doing what? This is what you want to be doing. There you go. There yeah, you go. I, I went. I yeah. went. I ain't finished. Yeah, I didn't I went. Same with me. I went too. <laughs> I, I, didn't I quit college to rap, bro. Yeah. I I, I really quit. Like, you know what? I'm gonna go my way. Cause I yeah. actually it seemed like my degree wasn't gonna pay me. I seen like my counselor was like, yeah, when you get this, you're gonna you'll make about you'll be a PE teacher. I was like, <laughs> you said that ain't gonna work. I just go and go my own way, bro. That's yeah, I do it, man. I just go my own. I already take the hard way and be the and, and have my own path at the end. You know what I'm saying? Right, carve your own path, man. I feel you. Yeah, that's how my life been. So I take it that way, bro. Okay, next question. Let me. Uh, this is a two parter. All since right. you are rappers and a uh, actor, if you could make a song with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? And mm -hmm. if you could be in a film with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Man, that's a good question. I got a few artists though, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna go with yeah. You can give me a couple. Ain't no limit. Ain't no limit. Ain't no I'm limit. You can give me a couple. Pop. Big and Pop, because just to have them two in the same room on the song together, that's history right there. Mm -hmm. And Biggie was like, would me, be? I grew up growing. I'm from. I'm a Texas boy for work, but. I like Biggie growing up, bro, for some reason. I was always on that shit. Mm -hmm. And as far as the movie go, I ain't gonna lie, man. My the favorite movie. actor is Leonardo DiCaprio, bro. I like Look, man, Leo go hard. <laughs> Leo go hard. <laughs> Fuck Wild. what you heard, man. Yeah, man. I would have loved it. He got Leo range, had. bro. He got Steph Curry range. Y'all judge me if y'all want. I seen Titanic three times when this shit came out, bro. Bro, man, he got rain. Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, even the new, yeah, exactly. The newer shit he killing. So yeah. him, him for sure. Yeah, I can't even think of nobody else that's dead, but him for sure. 
but yeah, no, that's a good one, man. That's a good one. That's definitely a good one, man. Um, the actor. What about um, producers, man? Like or directors? Have you got to uh, have you got to work with uh, any um, do, any of your director or maybe like just some directors that you hope to work with here in the next year? Oh, that's a, that's a, I'm so new to this shit, man. Mm-hmm. That I don't even know who's who's who. You know, I know the Steven Spielberg's and all that, but yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't have like a like I want to work with them. I don't even know. Well, shit, you know name the saying? big dogs, man. We are gonna speak it into existence. Yeah, man, I want to work with big actors. I want to work with Denzel. I want to be close to the top dogs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So definitely, like, uh, but producer wise, on the music wise, I always wanted to work with Pharrell, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's one of my favorites, man. Yeah, I think the vibe that I got and the shit that he got, it a vibe together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Pharrell probably it would be him. That would be the producer I want to work with or do an album with. So the merch, man. Let's talk about the merch, man. Yes, sir. You, you and Mo, you said, okay, yeah. Talk, talk about it. Uh, it's the Empire Collection dot com. T H E Empire. Empire is spelled H E M P Y R E Collection dot com. And so yeah, right now, and basically, I'll give y'all the background on that. We we was me and Mo was about to get into the CBD industry. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And, uh, the legal marijuana industry, but um. You know, it's a lot of licensing. It's a lot of funding that comes with getting into that shit. It's a little tricky with that shit. But we already had our hands on like a uh, promotion from like just doing music and stuff. I already had connects on uh, clothes and stuff like that. So right. I was like, bro, let's 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 build a lifestyle with the fashion. You know what I'm saying? Then then we can we can come with the uh with the, with the product later. But we'll just build it right. on the lifestyle shit first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right, right. Hopefully, hopefully, when I don't know when it's gonna become legal in Texas, bro. But as soon as it is, we're gonna be one of them first ones, though. Yeah, and it's coming, man. Be a it's coming. You know, they they got. Hey, what what what's always the hole up? The money, man. Once they figure out the money, yeah. And the big it's dogs get money. they. You know, yeah. the, the top motherfuckers get they they little chunk. Then it's you know what it is. Yeah. You know what it is. Yeah, I already know. Yeah, man. Definitely. 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 Um, so uh, the merch you said, tell them one more time where the merch is available. TheEmpireCollection.com. Uh-huh. Y'all got hoodies, shirts, what, what, what are y'all got? Hoodies and shirts, yeah. We're just doing basic shit right now. Right, right. You know, I ain't gonna lie, so I, t- I took a lot of my shit with, uh, with my whole business uh, idea or model from uh, Nipsey a little bit, man, the marathon. Ain't nothing you know wrong with that, that, man. Ain't nothing wrong yeah. with that. He put the blueprint out there for people to follow, yeah. man. Niggas got egos and shit like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, I, yeah. some people, you know, people give you shit to give you the game for you. Iron, to sharp, iron sharpens iron. Exactly. You know exactly. I'm iron. He, you feel me? It is what it is. So yeah, he got T. He had TMC, mine THC. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. And we exactly. THC. You know what I'm saying? That's what's in yeah. There, you know? yeah. So so let's talk about the pandemic, man. So what you've been doing to get get you through the pandemic, or how's the uh, pandemic? Uh, kind of, you know, how has that affected your music and acting career? Man, it's it's that it's it's weird, bro, because it's been a good and a bad year. The bad part is obviously the pandemic, people dying. Uh, of course. Unsure. Of course. Anytime that you unsure about what's gonna happen in in the world, mm-hmm. not even just your house, and you unsure what's happening in the world, that's not good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that that type of anxiety been on me this whole year. I got kids. You know what I'm saying? I got a family, so. Just making sure that they okay and they good, they mind frames is good has been my biggest probably challenge so far, bro. Right. You know, kids at home, going to school, all the other shit easy, bro. It's a blessing to even talk about movies, to even be in the yeah. studio or even do any of that. I've been traveling and everything this, during the mm-hmm. pandemic, bro. I ain't been sick, I've been tested, no corona. So that's what yeah. I'm saying, man. It's like, I, I, what, I, what I will say is I think the people who at the beginning of this pandemic, who was hustling, who like right. found something like how you doing and me and you doing right now, found ways to navigate. We gonna do something big next year. It's coming, you know man. Yeah, man. I, yeah, I, I think a lot of people, got, lot of people couldn't do what we doing right now, or they got, or they fell back or got scared. Or me, I was like, man, I got, I got something. We got to keep going. You know what I'm saying? The follow through, man, separates. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Everybody did, can talk. I seen, I seen that. Yeah. Everybody can talk tables that. Turn yeah, tables turn this year, bro. They turn. Yeah. Yeah. They did. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. This shit is real. I hear this damn pandemic, man. Um, so you sports fan. We're gonna talk a little sports real quick. Are you a sports fan? Of course, hooping. Okay. Oh. We, we you know the motherfucking NBA back, nigga. Yes, sir. I watched this shit last night. <laughs> I, 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 we gotta I talk about it. Man. Hooper, to, Hooper the Hooper, man. Who you got? Who, who, who is your squad? Let's talk about. Who, tell me who your squad is and who you got. Uh, this year. squad all day. I'm home team all day. I'm mad no, to the death. I don't give okay. a fuck. We got one ring, and Luca yeah. please bring us another one. Goddamn. Look at the truth. Hey, it. hey, it's it's his league next. It, LeBron giving the torch to that He's nigga. Coming. It's him, bro. Hey. I know AD and all them there, but Luca, no, no, no. he's the one, bro. That nigga ain't doing. Sh- hey, ain't nobody got nothing on Luca, bro. Other than LeBron, it ain't nobody got nothing on that white boy. Time, boy. But yeah. that, that's Larry Bird. Well, listen, it's like a new, I want to say a new age young Larry Bird, fool. Motherfuckers don't really re- remember how cold Larry was. Yeah, Larry you know had I'm like saying? a has a little nigga in him. You know what I'm saying? He had a little, he had a little bounce in him too. 2.0. How, how, yeah. Kobe, how Kobe was like that little Jordan, mm-hmm. you know, remix. Luca is like this, like the hood version of Larry Bird, nigga. This nigga been hooping since <laughs> nine years old, fool. What are you talking about, shit? Nigga playing, hood yeah, he playing yeah. pro at nine and shit. He's seven years of third grade. He got a pro game at, at 2 a.m., 2 p.m., some shit. Yeah, that's the crazy. I focus yeah, on man. So who you think going to win this year? This year, I don't know, though. But the Lakers squad looking good. I did watch them last night. They got beat. They got their ass beat last ah, night. Hey, you know that's my team. What, Lakers? Lakers are, are my you, favorite team. Like I've been so? grew up, grew up on a Magic, Byron Scott. I I'm not a Laker hater. I yeah. will say I do not like LeBron. <laughs> no, that's what I was finna say. I I'm not no big LeBron person. Like when all, that, LeBron, all that, all that, like Kobe versus LeBron shit, nigga, nigga. I yeah. was like, this nigga will never be better than Kobe. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. just my personal opinion, man. But but I'm glad he came to the squad. I'm, 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 That's I'm what I was gonna say. Y'all happy he's there though, you know? What yeah, I'm yeah. I ain't talk. I ain't never talking no shit about him. I just was like, he ain't better than Kobe to me, man. But that's right. just my personal yeah. thing. Oh, yeah, 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 man. I just, I can't, I can't put him past that black mama, man. But, but yeah, man. Brooklyn, Brooklyn look good. That's the finals. Brooklyn. That's the finals. That look like that's gonna be something. If, if, uh, if KD, man, I pray he don't get hurt though, bro. Yeah, I like, to, yeah. I like to see him ball, bro. He good yeah. for the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Kyrie, nigga's cool, cool. Kyrie, Kyrie, my favorite point guard right now. Right, right. Mm-hmm. You think he got the best handles of all time, like they say? I don't know about how it sounds, but bro, nigga, he, he up there in the top two or three. Footwork. Okay, I give you that. He got the best footwork. He got that Kobe seen. footwork. That a Kobe Elijah one. That. See, that's the thing. He's got the combination of like a hot like. Like the, the dribble, but the footwork too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because he fucked with Kobe. Oh. Kobe he learned he, he learned that post game from Kobe. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah so I've never <laughs> seen the combination, the combination he has. Basically, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Is I've yeah. never seen it before. Now D Rose was my favorite guard, to be honest. Oh you man, know? I wish he wouldn't have got hurt, bro. No, he wouldn't, have, bruh, bruh. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, my God. Uh, that dude was something special. Man, you know them, them but, MVP that year he won MVP. Remember that time he dunked on Nash? He did, yeah, on that nigga, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? And he just fell back on that nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah, Derrick Rose is true. What about what about football, man? You you football fan? Home team, but I'm just only want to talk about this. Hey, one. hey, I'm I'm Cowboys, <laughs> ride or die. Okay, I was with you. I was with him when Tony was there. I was with him when Chad Hutchinson was there. I was with him when Quincy was there. I'm riding down with the Cowboys. Quincy, Quincy Carter. Quincy. Quincy. Yes, hey, you know, Quincy. Carter. Nigga, you know, Quincy. Walker was there. Walker was there. Nigga. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking <laughs> about up and the down years, fool. I never left. I never that was left. actually Irving. When they was in Irving. Yeah. Well, you remember when them niggas tried to bring Drew Henson ass back from baseball? Yeah. I was there. Out. Man, we've been through a lot of shit. That's Cowboys for man, bro. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's why this season, you know, I was hoping they was going to tank, man, and we get that number that number one or two pick, maybe flip that bitch into a couple players. Right. Or... They still like in, they still contending with uh, with their um, division. Yeah, right? and the uh, playoffs. We're getting the playoffs. With a, losing, with a losing record. That shit crazy. It's that divisional shit. Yeah. 
It's that division. Yeah, shit. I, 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 I'm more. I'm more into hooping. I'm a sport. I love sports, but I'm definitely more into hooping than uh football. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think they're gonna pay Dak? I don't. There you go. I think he goes. Oh, bro. I met Dak too. I met Dak last year. I went to the Super Bowl last year, and I met I met him, bro. He a nice he dude, cool. bro. But <laughs> he a cool dude, bro. Yeah, bro. yeah. I think um, that nigga finna get paid elsewhere, bro. Yeah, he hurt himself too bad, to be honest. Yeah. That injury was too bad. Anything yeah. like that, it, and that's what I, my sons want to play football. And I told them, the thing about football is when you get hurt, man, that's it for you. you know it's hurt man? too. It's hurt, hurt. Yeah, that was like you done. Like it don't matter if you was a starter year before. You know what I mean? You see how KD? I mean, KD got to sit out down there two years. You know what I'm saying? Look at Clay. It was, it was like 500 days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Clay finna be out another year, and they gonna wait on him. You know what I'm saying? They gonna but pay he him. But he just came home. back. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That was he, that's kind of fucked up too. Man, I, I felt I, bad I, for the nigga. Forward to see uh, Golden State coming with their squad again next year, nigga. I think they're gonna be a problem for when they get if they got them two niggas on the court. Yeah, but they, 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 they got back. them two and they get another little piece. Wiggins pick up a little bit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like they're gonna be a problem for interesting stuff. I want to see uh, when the Cooper if he gonna make a move too. I want him mm -hmm. to come over here. I want him to go ahead and come to Dallas, like man. Supermax. <laughs> he, oh, he did? Oh, he just signed it? Like two days oh, ago. Okay. Damn. Damn. Yeah, okay. He just signed the Superman. He ain't going nowhere. So mm -hmm. you can you can he can wrap up his ring champ in his ring chances. Cause they ain't gonna yeah. be they ain't gonna be Brooklyn. Them yeah. niggas ain't gonna be Brooklyn. Brooklyn, bro. They, yeah, they, man. Second, second team was rough. Yeah, man. But shit, man, I ain't gonna hold you, man. We talk sports all day, man. Uh, you got any shout outs you wanna give? Uh anything else you wanna uh, talk about before we I'll let you go. Shout out to God for getting us through this pandemic, man. Shout out to my family keeping me up. Shout out to Mo, my boy Mo, my boy LA. Uh shout out to all the people who just uh who support me, man. And y'all go uh, y'all go check out the movie Miss Juneteenth. That's the that's my first film I was in. I'm a character called Catfish. That's on Amazon Prime right now. Um, and y'all be looking and go go check out all my music on iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, King News, K I N G, N U S C, man. Yes, I'm sir. Instagram, yes, sir. I'm on Facebook, same name, King News, man, or Instagram, King News 817. So y'all follow me and uh, add me on there. Hey, man. Well, I appreciate you joining me today, man. Give me a little bit of time, man. Um, yes, hey, man, I wish you much success for this upcoming year, man. Do your thing, man. I want to see you on that big screen. Yes, sir. Same to you too, man. Man, I'm I'm out here grinding, fam. I'm out here grinding. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. All right, everybody. That's gonna be another episode of the Cloud Chronicles, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with us. Uh, smash that like button if you already have not subscribed. Check out King Noose on all major platforms. Check out his music. Uh, check out the Cloud Chronicles. Um, oh, hold on. Before we say that, make sure you check out his merch too. Tell them that website one more time for the merch. The Empire Collection. The, the Empire. Empire Collection. Yeah, with a Y, Empire Collection. Right, right. right, so go over there, get you a hoodie, get you a shirt. After you get off that, get over here on my shit. There you go. Get you one of them shirts and a hoodie. Get over here, get on my shit. Get you a Cloud Chronicle yeah. shirt. Hoodie's in stock now. Got some socks. We got all kinds of shit, man. Y'all check us out, man. We doing big things, man. Hey, uh, everybody, stay blessed out there. Like I always like to say, mental health is real. Take care of this. It'll take care of you. Tell somebody you love them. Uh, we out of here, man. Peace. This is the Cloud Chronicles. I'm Johnny Blaze. This is yeah. King Newton. We out this thing. Peace.